Hi everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, I made this card using the stamp set Pampa Ped, Pets. And the story behind me getting this stamp, because I don't have any pets, is I needed a cat stamp for two 70 year old birthday cards. I've got to make twins. Um, one likes whiskey and flowers, and the other one likes whiskey and cats. So that's why I bought this. So I thought I'd use the dog today and the bowl and the sentiment hope your day is a real treat. So it's just one stamp set today. So my card is a black card base of 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 eighths scored at 5 and 7 eighths. I have two pieces of card one white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside and I have a piece of real red that is not five and five eighths by three and seven eighths oh I might do with that I'll just have to cut that bit though this is five and a half no, it's not. It's five and three eighths by three and five eighths. Yeah. So this is three and five eighths by five and three eighths. Just give me a nice big black border. I have another piece of black card that measures two and a half inches, which will be cut down to fit this. And a piece of white card that goes in the middle. As you can see, I've done the edges on this, and to do that, I use this retired punch from Stampin' Up. That's what I did to do that. That'll go on there. And then I have a piece of black card at Two and three quarters by three and a quarter. Is that three and a quarter? Two and three quarters by three and a quarter. And then that means I've got a piece of white at two and five eighths by three and one eighth. And that will sit on there. So let's get some stamping done and drawing and colouring. Right, to get the red stripes I thought I had some red stripe paper but I didn't. Well, I did, I had an inch wide and it wasn't big enough. So I thought I'd draw my own. So what I did, I got a strip of card, um, a ruler, real red pen and I just drew my lines in. No measuring nothing I just drew them in but on this time I'm going to start off the page and come in the last one I did it try to get it at the bottom of the page and missed and then I'm going to go that way and then I'm going to go this way and I didn't finish that and then I'm going to go that way don't want it to be all measured and uniformed I just want it to be I'm gonna have to clean my ruler but I'm finished and last one like that looks like it's been drawn with a paintbrush and then that will stick on this bit like that let's stick it on Before I go any further after this, 
little stamp so it will dry for me to colour. So I've got my black memento ink, my dog, oh no I'm going to do the sentiment first, that's what I did last time, and I put the sentiment down the bottom here. rid of that one and now the dog I stamped just off a little bit not quite in the center I hope he's straight like that and then the little ball I stamped right next to him like that. Right, I'll just put that one side while we stick all this down and trim it up. this to the uh, left of the red card very straight and then I'll trim this off glue this on my base in the middle Side in. A good card for a dog lover, or even I know people do that for a dog for its birthday. So what we're going to do now is colour this in. Now, the bowl, I did red. And I did this colour red. Right. The dog itself is grey. Light um, smoky slate.
Then his face. Or his head. And then his chest and his tummy I did in dark smoky slate. And his nose I did in black. What's this called? Basic black. Like that. Now with the smoky slate I also did darks rather this is tips of his ears, tips of his tail, and his paws. Because we can't have a and some of his beard. Right, that is my dog. And he will go on like that. So we'll push him, push him, glue him on. With a nice little border. Try and do it straight. And then we put this on dimensionals. Pop that like that on there, and that is our card done. So you can have it with a smaller background or a bigger background. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. Um, and if you press the bell button you'll be notified of any more videos we upload or I upload on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon